Hey everybody, this is Artemis Lore with Artemis Oracle Cards. Welcome to my page. Today is December 6, 2022, and I have not been online for a while. Been getting some stuff together, and it's so nice to meet you. Thank you for joining my page. I know you see a lot of different things on my page. Um, I just wanted to say, you know, happy holidays. If you guys are going through a lot, just remember to take time for yourself to heal whatever it is you're going through right now um so let's just talk about that because see the end of the year is really hard for people um i wanted to let you guys know that i will be doing holiday readings for 25 dollars i'm going to be updating my website as well so you'll see a lot of coupons and discounts by this weekend if you want to learn more about me and who I am, you can go to the website and go to the about page. Um, there's also a really nice blog there on how to do self care because self care is very important at the end of the year, especially with, um, you know, people getting sick and, you know, stuff like that. Good healing practices to help you. Um, but for right now, I'm going to actually just do a uh, collective reading. Um, you can actually message me privately. I have comments turned off because we have a lot of trolls online and they like to bother people, harass people and promise, you know, to deliver things that usually don't happen. Um, so what I'm going to do here is a collective reading and then you guys can inbox me. Uh, also at the top of my website, my phone number is there as well. Uh, so you can call or text me. I'm just coming back to being available full time this this uh, season, which is really good for me. So I'm making time to help others and, you know, so we can find out what's going on. So what we're going to do really quick is just do a collective reading. I'm going to put these cards in the past, present and future positions. Let's just clear the cards ask our spirit guides to give us the best message possible all right for clarity and understanding okay so i'm going to turn over the cards and then i'll put them in the holder all right so i'll put them in the holder just the way that they come out all right see is the full card upside down five of swords and page of cups so I want to start, I usually start from the middle, but I'll start from the Fool card because it's very important. Usually when we see the Fool and it's, and it's upright, it usually means a new beginning, a fresh start, um, good opportunities coming our way. But in this current, you know, in the past, I would say the current past, which is like, you know, maybe the last couple of months or the last few weeks or even the last... Um, you know, 11 or 12, 11 months of the year, um, we really wanted to start out. Some of us really had a lot of goals and stuff that we wanted to do. And some things didn't, uh, some things didn't pan out. Uh, some things didn't start the way we really wanted them to. It doesn't mean that that's the end of all. Okay. Um, it just means that we need to kind of like refocus on our future. Maybe it wasn't time for certain things to happen in our lives, um, but we will eventually get to that time when a new opportunity will arise. We are at the end of the year. If you're looking forward to something new happening now, we are in a season that is kind of like a pause season where um, we need to allow the universe to give us uh, the sign that it is now time for us to like start something new. So I would say for right now, don't rush anything. Give it a minute, give it a moment, at least until the new year. Um, and then the other thing too, with the five of swords, be fair to yourself and be fair to others. Uh, only because when things aren't happening right now, we tend to get frustrated and sometimes we can be unfair to people or even people that you may be dealing with are being very unfair to you causing arguments and fight maybe they're frustrated and they want to get the last word and they want to win that just has to do with a lot of us being under a lot of stress so if you find yourself running into this person or even being this person chill back for a minute hang back all right because if you do that 
And if you reevaluate yourself, then you'll end up being a much nicer person. You'll end up meeting nicer people and you'll have better opportunities and you can have your emotions in check and be like an all brand new person when the first of the year hits and arrives. So I think this is really telling us a story about, you know, just really changing who we are, okay? Not worrying about what didn't happen and then becoming brand new again for the new season that's coming up in 2023. This is Artemis again. Hopefully that helped you guys. Um, I'm that type of reader. You know, everybody has their own uh, abilities and their own ways of doing things. I read with tarot cards. I also use angel cards. I also use past, past life cards. And then I do pendulum readings. The best thing that I do is without any of the tools at all. Usually when I'm on the phone with people, I can feel their energy. Sometimes I can see uh, something that's going on and that will be in a conversation for itself. So uh, like I said, everybody's different. We don't always have to use tools, but I do know that somebody's gonna see this and they're gonna say, whoa, right? That's exactly what I'm going through. All right, so energy is energy. I feel like as human beings, we're all connected. Um, we're also all star seeds, so we're universally connected as well. Um, and so like I said, if you go to my website and you click on readings, if you can't afford the $40 readings, there is a way where you can put or enter the amount you want, um, which is no lower than $25. And then it will let me know by email that, you know, I have a client to do a reading for, or you can call or text me, which is a button right on my homepage. And then I'll go ahead and assist you with that. Once again, this is Artemis. It's so nice to see everybody again. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.